In this video, we'll be comparing all three app-based scan tools, such as a top-down top scan, the ThinkCard ThinkDAG, and the Blue Driver in depth. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So my name is Random Fix and I test all these different app-based scan tools like this. And this is a unit here that we have from ThinkDAG. And I just made a video and I thought why not make a video where I compare all three side by side so you guys can see for yourself and quickly tell you guys the differences between them. So we got the Think Dag here, the blue driver and the top down top scan. And I tested these in depth. And if you guys want to check out the in-depth videos, I'll leave a link for you guys in the video description box down below. So I've had a, quite a few different vendors reach out to me and ask me to test them out. And I normally say no because I actually don't like app-based Bluetooth scan tool devices. And I have my reasons, which I share with you guys in the video because I actually like using scan tools like this. But nonetheless, I went ahead and I bought these devices with my own money and tried them out. So I went in depth on those videos and I have the recordings on what they can do, but I know not everybody's gonna wanna watch three videos. So I wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the devices so you guys can decide for yourself which one you wanna go with. And if this is even the route you wanna go, maybe you wanna get a traditional scan tool instead. So let me turn the camera around and then I'll talk about each particular tool the pros and cons of it and let you guys know the real differences between them and if there's anything of real concern to you so the very first thing i want to point out is that all three of these can work on vehicles that are 1996 and newer but there's some limiting factors on one of them the one that has the most limited features is going to be the blue driver here for the reasons that this is the ob2 reader with some enhanced function so basically you're paying more money to get one of these with the Google search engine built into your phone. You could do this on your own. This tool costs about 30 bucks. This costs a hundred dollars. So you gotta decide which one is better for you. And this is advertised that it has really good support. The three times that I tried support, I couldn't get a hold of anybody. And if you wanna call the 800 number, the only thing that they're gonna help you out with is to make sure that you can connect it to your vehicle, which is pretty easy. I'll show you guys in the video, it just slides into place and you download the app. So the blue driver to me is going to be just an OBD2 reader, but it has one thing that I really love about it, which is going to be the inspection monitors. So if you guys notice, this says IM, this stands for inspection monitors, and the blue driver does the best job out of all three of these, representing that data. It shows pending codes correctly, permanent codes, and the stored codes. Both of these have no issues with stored codes, but I cannot pull up the permanent codes on these two scan tools, which is really important because if you live in a place like California, you're not going to be able to get your registration if you have a permanent code and that can stop you from completing your drive cycle. The blue driver has a few pluses, like I mentioned, that has got great inspection monitor data. It's a one-time purchase. So with this, you buy it, you own it, and you don't have to pay a yearly fee. These other two devices over here, they need to be purchased. They come with one year of service included. And then the following year, you're going to have to buy service. The service is roughly running about $50 a year. For that $50 a year, you're going to get some enhanced features. You might be asking yourself, what are the enhanced features? Well, these two right here are going to allow you to go not only read codes and clear them like this and this can do. These two over here will allow you to go and send a command to the vehicle instead. So this will allow you to go send a command to go roll up the window. So now you don't have to take the door panel off to go test the actuator. You can do it a lot easier with one of these. So that's really nice. You could also use it for mechanical components such as fuel pumps, fans. And this is really important because on a lot of the newer vehicles, what happens is they have more and more computers. So if one of the computers comes offline, that feature of the car is going to stop working. So if you're backing up and your rear camera is not working, well, this can help you easily identify what area it is. If it's supported, it will go through and send a command to that unit to activate that specific component. So they have special functions besides the bi-directional functions as well. And these special functions allow you to do things such as program steering wheel angle sensors, erase codes from the TPMS, relearn throttle bodies, code injectors, register batteries, 
as well as initialize certain components. So the top down over here has a total of 10 special functions. The thin car has 15. And this one really doesn't have special functions in the same aspect. The two on the left here are going to be scan tools. And the one on the right here is going to be an OBE2 reader with some enhanced functions. This is what I have found from my experience. So let's talk about these two on the left. I like the top down unit and I definitely like the think dag unit a little bit more. I went ahead and actually gave this a grade of 1 to 10 on the video. So this got a 6 out of 10, this got a 7 out of 10, and this got an 8 out of 10. With all that said, just know that the best unit here on the table almost left me stranded when I was going to go pick up my kids because after I relearned the throttle body on the video, I sat in the car, I started it, and it was basically in limp mode. The throttle was not being sensed by the computer. So even the best app-based tools like this have their limitations and they're really not a substitute for a scan tool like this. And for some people, there might be enough. So you gotta decide that part for yourself. I definitely think they're cool and I wish that some of these units could be combined because some of the data on here was great. And this one allows you to graph. These other two don't. The ThinkDAG allows you the most amount of special functions and the top down has a really cool design. If you're enjoying the comparison video between the blue driver, the top down and the ThinkDAG units here, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up as I put a lot of time into the videos and I really do appreciate you guys and your time. And I'll leave you guys a link down below for anything that I mentioned in this video. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing as it would really help me out and it lets YouTube know that I'm bringing you guys valuable content. Thank you again. A few notes. The blue driver unit is going to be the slowest out of the three with the ThinkDAG unit being the fastest. And this does have the easiest to understand interface. However, just understand that this unit is older and because of the age, it has its limitations for upgradability in the future. Besides the fact that it doesn't have bi-directional support, just know that you're not going to be able to do a lot of the things that you may need to do in the future where these two can do them. There's no way that this unit has that option. This unit was first sold back in 2019. And these two units right here are fairly new. They're actually manufactured in the year 2023. So there's going to be quite a difference in the speeds. And just know that an interface can be changed overnight. So tomorrow morning, these guys might make the best interface and you're going to benefit from it right away. Whereas in the blue driver scenario here, you're not going to have that option because it is going to be the hardware. The hardware is going to have its limitations. If I had to go with something very simple, honestly, guys, I would rather buy this instead of this. And whatever information I get from here, I'm just going to Google it anyway, because that's what the blue driver essentially does for you. The support is not there unless you guys have had a different kind of experience which you can let me know down below i think this is a better choice for the blue driver and is 70 percent cheaper and if you have a newer car and you want the latest and greatest i think these two are more appropriate especially the think dag unit here is definitely going to be a clear winner in my book out of the three i'm definitely going to recommend the think dag I'll leave you guys links in the video description box down below if I find any special coupons. And if you guys are in the market for a scan tool, I hope I gave you guys some relevant information that helped you out. If you want to check out the video in its entirety, I'll leave those links down below so you guys can check out any of the videos and you can see what the actual tools can do. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If there's something that I left off in the video, please let me know what it was and I can get back to you guys. And I'll make you guys a follow up video because I realized I should do a quick comparison between this and these three devices here, just so you guys can get a better idea if these are right for you or something like this is better for you. So make it a great day and thank you again.